Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel on this beautiful day. How are you guys and girls doing? I hope you're doing great as always. Today's video is really nice. We're going to be talking about IMGUI and how to link it and just do a quick little test. But just to tell you guys, this video depends highly on the previous video I just made on linking all the GLFW, GLM, glue, all that stuff, just to link it and start up the Visual Studio project. So once you've done that, you can go ahead and start with this video. I'm going to link that video in here just so you can watch that. It's really quick just to set everything up, just so that this video doesn't get super long and we have to set everything up again. So go ahead and watch that and set it up. Now, before we get started, I just want to show you a little demo of what we're going to be doing here. So if I start this up, I'm going to show you different ways to add a color picker so we can change the color of our window using IMGUI. Now, this is the color picker. I'll show you ways using floats, different types of float sliders and float inputs. So we can change the red, green and blue values. And of course, this one, this is the one I show last, but at least I think this is the most natural way of, of picking colors. So using this, we can have direct control of stuff going on within our Apple. And then, of course, the actual IMGUI element here that we've added. So that's it, guys. So go ahead, jump into the video, drop a like and subscribe as well. Do not forget that, please. It really helps me out. It's the only way I can keep making these videos. So do that and enjoy the video. Then I want you to go to this link here, github.com, Ocornut, I'm GY. And just hit this code button here and download zip. Once you've downloaded the zip, just go ahead and extract the files, copy those files, copy those files to your external folder on your project as for our uh, OpenGL project and just paste all of that in here. And I'm going to open this in a new window right next to it. I'm also going to create a new folder called I'm GUI and we're going to copy stuff from the zip folder that you extracted to this new I'm GUI folder just so we get everything that we need and not anything extra. And I'm going to go ahead and right click view or group by type. And this way we're going to see all of our headers and all of our source files. So I'm going to copy all headers and all the source files, control C and paste them in here into the IMGUI folder. And now we need to go into the back ends folder here and we're going to copy a few more files. Firstly, we're going to copy the IMGUI implement GLFW CPP and H file, paste them in here. Then we're going to find the OpenGL3 CPP and H file and copy them in here. And then finally, the OpenGL3 loader.h file and copy it in here. And let's group this by type as well, just to make sure we have everything. So there should be seven CPP files and, one, and nine header files. So once you have that done, we're going to link all of this stuff into the project. But what you can do now is you can delete the zip extract file and just delete the whole thing and just keep the IMGUI part. Now head on over to your project. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to right click the source files here and add a new filter. And I'm going to call it I'm GUI. And the same thing for the header files. I'm going to say new filter. I'm GUI. And then right click that add existing item and find that I'm GUI folder that you just created. And here as well group by type. And I'm going to add all of the header files into this header files. I'm GUI filter like that. And the same thing for the source files. I'm GUI filter. I'm GUI and then file all the source files and add them in here. So it should look just like this. Once you're done, you can just go ahead and minimize these. And there we go. Now, the last thing we're going to do is right click on the project here under solution properties and go to C++ general for all configurations, all platforms and hit edit. And we're going to add that I'm GUI folder in here. So head on to your external and just click on the I'm GUI and say select folder and then do the Whoops, copy this solution directory part here and just add that here. Hit OK and hit apply and OK. Good. Now we have IMGUI linked. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to include IMGUI. I'm going to remove this part here. It's not really needed. And we're going to include IMGUI.h, IMGUI implement GLFW.h and implement OpenGL3.h. Now don't, do not include, include loader.h. Just don't include that. It needs to be there, but don't include it. And just these three, and then you should be good to go. Now we should be able to start initializing I'm GUI. And I'm going to do that before the loop here. I'm going to say init I'm GUI. And let's go ahead and start doing this. So I'm GUI 
check version. Go ahead and do that. And then we're going to create the I'm GUI context. Create context. I'm GUI IO. There's a little complex here. Void IO. It's a little weird. Can't say I'm sure of what this does just yet, but I'll check on it. But just remember, you need to do all this. And then we're going to start setting some default stuff here. I'm a GUI style colors dark. This will set sort of a dark theme for us for I'm GUI. Now let's initialize it for the window, the OpenGL window, init for OpenGL. I'm GUI implement GLFW init for OpenGL. And we'll pass our window here and we'll say true to install callbacks. And then let's set the OpenGL version we're using. And in here, we're going to do version 330. So that's 3.3, but 330. And I misspelled here. So I'm GUI implement OpenGL3 in it and with the version that we're using right now. And with that, I'm GUI should be initialized. And now we can start doing stuff within the loop. But before that, I'm going to clean up I'm GUI down here as well. Now we're going to shut all the stuff down. Implement. So shut down. Shut down for GLFW. And let's destroy the context. Destroy context. And this is the cleanup for I'm GUI. Now to the fun stuff. Let's test so that everything is working and that it was initialized and included properly. So I'm going to do all my stuff in between here, clearing the buffer bit or the color buffer bit and the swapping of the buffers. So we're going to do a little test here. And I'm just going to create a simple little I'm GUI window, which we can just move around and resize. That's basically it's nothing special, just to test that everything was set up properly. So what we do is in the beginning of the frame, we just tell I'm GUI that this is a new frame and then we're going to do all the window stuff. So firstly, open GL3 new frame and then we're going to do implement GLFW GLFW new frame. And then finally, let's create the new frame. And now we're going to draw the little window. So to begin a window, you use the I'm GUI begin call here and I'm just going to give it a window name. It's my window and you can do a bunch of stuff here in between, but I'm just showing you the basics. Like I said, just super, super simple. And we're going to add some text in the window and I'm going to say hello. And then I'm going to create a slider float three and then we hit I'm GUI end. So we just create a window and start one and then we add as much stuff as we want in that window and then we end that one. and then that will be rendered here. And you can do this anywhere. I'm just doing it he in here in the loop just to be clear of what's happening. And then we're just going to call the I'm GUI render function. I'm GUI render, render draw data. So there we go. So I'm GUI implement OpenGL3 render draw data. I'm GUI get draw data. This stuff is a little bit beyond my knowledge, but I just know when using I'm GUI, this is the way I do things and it works for me. So you can read more about this stuff. This video is more about setting everything up than explaining I'm GUI, just so you know how to set it up. And then we can continue learning about this in other videos down the line. But for now, this will work. So let's go ahead and run this and you'll see a little window pops up here. Boom. And you can move this window around here as much as you want. And that is basically it. Now, as a little bonus, I want to give you a way to change the background color of the window using our I'm GUI window we just created. This little bonus I'm going to give you now. You don't have to stick around for it, but let's just go ahead and do it. We're going to create a little variable here so that we can change this depending on a variable. We're going to need a variable because we can't really change the clear color in any other way dynamically. So let's just go ahead and create a little variable here. So I'm just going to call it window color and I'm going to say float color three. And I'm going to initialize this to 1.f, 0.f, 0.f. And let's go ahead and add that here. So color zero, color one, and then color two. And if I just go ahead and run this, we should see a red window pop up. Yep. Perfect. Now, if you see your I'm GUI window here, the new one popping up at different locations with different sizes, that's because there is a file in your source directory called I'm GUI.ini. And this one saves your uh, size and, and positions of all your windows. Just so the next time, next time you start up your application, it's going to look the same as when you left it. Basically, you can change that functionality if you want, but that's why it's acting the way it is. Now I'm going to shut it down. And we're going to change this color variable here using a I'm GUI float. So if I just type float here, it will show us different ways to change floats. We have sliders, inputs, drag, this and that. You can try all those out, but I'm going to just do an input float three. And I'm going to call this window color. And I'm going to give it my color here like that. That's all I'm going to need. 
Now this input flow three will be rendered below my text that I added. So I have the hello and then I have the input flow three. So here I can say five or, or one and then I can say one here, it will be yellow. And I'll say one here, it will be white. So you can change this as much as you want, 0 0.2 and then 0 0.5 and maybe 0 0.5 here or 0 0.2 and you can just change this around. Let's try out the other ones as well. Let's say in Put, so drag float three, let's try that one. Now here I can drag this as much as I want. It's a little harder to do with these kind of numbers, but that's how the drag works. And then we have the slider here, and this works a little different. Here we can set a minimum value and a maximum value. So the minimum would be zero and one point F here. And if we run this, we can change it a little more. So maybe this works a little better with the slider here. We can change it a little nicer. And then the last way I want to show you is using a color picker. So this would be probably the most natural way of doing it. Color picker three, window color, and then color. And now we can really pick the color of our window. So using the color picker, I can change exactly the color I want while seeing what color it will be. So this is probably my favorite way to change colors, but it is quite huge. It's pretty big. You can change this up a little bit. You can even paste in color codes here which makes it a lot easier. So this way, this is something I really do like. You can make it smaller as well. So you can make sure this pops up a little smaller in your settings if you don't want it to be that huge, but it works really well. So there you go, guys. That is how you work with IMGUI in OpenGL. Sorry for the little short on explanation video here, but uh, I'm sure we'll make a video where we explain this a little more in detail. Go ahead and ask ChatGPT go ahead and check out the documentation for this. It will explain it perfectly. Just know that this is how you get started with it. At least you have a starting point and you can start experimenting. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please drop a like and subscribe. Really, really, really helps me out. And drop a comment as well. Let me know what I can do better. And thank you so much for watching as always. Take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.